But uh, we're pleased to host today's conversation, and this conversation, as I said, is just one of many that's happening around the country, uh, sponsored by Lincoln Center Institute, and, and ultimately, uh, these will come together in a national conversation, which will happen in Washington, D.C. Uh, in the spring, sometime in the spring. So your presence here today is, is part of this continuum, to, to further this continuum, uh, ultimately leading to that national conversation. So to give you a little more context about what this conversation is, let me again quote from, from the uh, uh, Lincoln Center Institute and what they defined the terms that we're dealing with today. First of all, Imagination is the capacity to conceive of what is not, to perceive new possibilities. Creativity involves translating what has been imagined into action, introducing something original in the world. When such a creative act pushes past the boundaries to truly new territory, innovation occurs. As we have these conversations, we don't want to lose sight of the initiative's ultimate aim to generate knowledge and to build a critical mass of support for policies, programs, and research that will, will result in educational environments where imagination, creativity, and innovation flourish. Only if such environments exist and exist in abundance will Americans, particularly our rising generation of young people, be able to answer the urgent demand for groundbreaking thought and action. At stake is nothing less than the country's civic, cultural, and economic future. So that gives you some background. They, they, they did a lot of research as they began these conversations, and uh, one of the interesting ones that I saw was some polling they did of American business leaders. And in that polling, out of the hundreds of managers across the country that they that they surveyed and polled, uh, almost 74%, 74% of our business leaders think that creativity and innovation will increase in importance in coming years, but only 21% rate new job entrants with four-year college diplomas as excellent in that area. And even voters, and we know how fickle and how broad based uh, the voter base is, even voters in polling and in research have said they have concerns about this and that, they, that half the voters, nearly half, nearly 50% of voters rank creativity and innovation as a 9 or 10 on an important scale of 10, and they just, just 5% of the voting public that was surveyed give schools a 9 or 10 in teaching this skill. So we got a lot of work, a lot of things that are people concerned about on a lot of levels in our society. So we're uh, delighted today that we have gathered these, uh, these esteemed thinkers uh, to, to share some conversation among themselves and with you. Uh, and uh, so we'll begin with that. We have represented, of course, business and technology sectors, the arts, uh, media, and education community all here to share their expertise and their thoughts on it. And it really is, we hope, will be a conversation, a back and forth and exchange. Um, and we're going to discuss the commonality uh, between imagination, creativity, and innovation, but perhaps more importantly, the apparent disconnect between what business leaders tell us they want and what they need versus what seems to be coming from the education community and or what is being mandated by government for the education community. 